Hey everyone, Kid Hero here. I have this really brief video in regards to this project that I'm doing. I'm trying to make cardboard STEM kits for elementary schools for after school programming, and I collected a bunch of this scrap cardboard box from a local industrial company. All these boxes are listed as industrial latex hangers. I have about 500 of these boxes. I asked them if I could have them. Normally they either dispose of them or they have to call someone to pick them up in order to take them to recycling. If you are interested in doing any of these projects, usually if you just ask, you can actually get the stuff for free, which is great. So the plan is to cut all these boxes into smaller pieces. Boxes are roughly seven inches by 15. For the larger portion, those are gonna be 14 by 14 squares. Uh, what we are gonna do is we are gonna laser cut each of these pieces to be assembled as kind of three-dimensional puzzles. And there will be supplemental education that goes along with it. That way students can learn about different types of animals, their environments that they live in, things like that. We are doing this since a lot of schooling is done through distance learning online or students can't go to school in some locations. So we are going to package all these once they're made I will record the process as we go through and then if someone is interested in doing this for their community then you'll know how so here we go just finished cutting about half of them. Blade is kind of an older blade, so I'm not really concerned about wearing out the saw blade by cutting cardboard. I'm gonna swap it out when I switch to woodworking projects. But if you take a look at my shirt, as well as the floor, it's covered in cardboard sawdust. So I'm gonna take a moment to clean everything up. As you can see, I've gotten probably about halfway through cutting uh, the 500 boxes. I took a lot of it down to my truck. So I have the last of the cardboard loaded in the back of my truck here and uh, as you can see we're completely stocked up. We are ready to head over to the computer production lab now. So this is a computer production lab. Uh, basically we take the pieces of cardboard and do our measurements to determine which uh, sizes are most common. We scale down the actual design. This one right here is the snail. This one right here is an elephant, and as you can see, there's a little kitty cat right there. process goes faster when we actually use our laser engraver laser cutter. I'll go ahead and run the machine. That way we can get some of these done, and then we will go to the review portion. After cutting down the cardboard, uh, we cut it into sheets that have various dimensions and then from there we actually laser cut the cardboard in order to get specific shapes. The plan that I had in mind that I wanted to propose for the elementary schools that are looking for programming here in Omaha but didn't have any funding, I'd be willing to provide these for free. This is actually a three-dimensional cardboard uh, gorilla puzzle. I would actually include paint supplies as well as supplementary STEM education. And we have different designs involved. If you can... I'm still working on the design for this. It has general facts depending upon the animal. We have six of them. I wanted to cut down on the amount of included materials. That way things wouldn't be getting lost as well as to reduce the amount of waste. So I'm, I'm really pleased that we were able to recycle so much cardboard. And again, I want to try to cut down on paper. That way, if necessary, if we need more information, we can always use 
the backs of the paper in order to be able to maximize the amount of materials being used. I briefly showed you what the three-dimensional gorilla looks like and I will post their pictures on Facebook that way you can actually take a look at them. If you take a look here we have domestic cats for people who like pets and cats. Elephants. Apologize. If it's hard to see. Yeah, hello Abby. <laughs> I actually had to get an additional storage unit in order to try to hold the additional cardboard. At some point or another it was starting to feel like okay we got to pull the trigger on this because I'm starting to feel like a hoarder but at the same time it's for the community and again I would like to give priority to elementary schools since I know they're hurting the most. If there are other schools that are interested in getting these kits uh, when it's all said and done I should have about a thousand of these animal kits and there'll be various as far as which animals there are and there's on a side note the other project that i was working on since spring we made more recyclable stem kits using both uh, construction plywood as well as cardboard and i was able to make uh, these really nice three-dimensional glider planes i'm going to forewarn you i'm not a toy manufacturer in any way so there's no warranty that comes with this uh, they will last but but again, they're cardboard, so obviously they'll deteriorate over time. Uh, all of it's been disinfected and everything like that. I've actually had all this cardboard for some time now before all the craziness broke out. So the wings actually go inserted into the body and it'll actually stay put using a little notch. And again, these will also be given to sites for free for anyone who's needing programming during uh, session one specifically. Uh, I have plans to continue to make these for however long it takes in order to make sure sites have something to provide to their students. I'm going to use session one just as a test as far as to see how much demand is actually out there in order to see if I can try to meet some of your needs. I, I'm just one person and I have a very few staff but I'm willing to put forth the effort in order to make at least something happen so for those of you that don't have my contact information ask a different site if you either know my number or contact collective for youth and get a hold of me that way and I'll make sure that you at least have something so I have airplanes and obviously the tail still needs to be attached on there these will do loop to loops they actually fly extremely far and then I have these uh, three-dimensional cardboard puzzles that also have the STEM education on there as far as the facts regarding biology and animals, habitats, etc. Let me know uh, what I can possibly do to make this easier for you to receive. We will go from there and I appreciate the compliment as well as the other compliments the other site directors have been giving me. I try to make myself available whenever possible. We're a team. It's, it's not just me, it's not my staff, it's all of us. It's all the different site directors, it's all the different program providers, collective for youth and everyone else. Call me, send me a message through Facebook or contact collective for youth, get a hold of me and I will make sure that you and your site at least has something. That way you can serve your students and have at least a strong start this year. So I appreciate you watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day, wonderful week. See y'all later.